final question back here. Hello, Mr. Shapiro. My name is Andrea, and I am a Cal State LA student. Yeah, good luck to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm actually originally a Northern Californian. And so um, I'm from an area that's actually a bit more conservative than out here. And mm -hmm. so I'm um, making the transition to living in Los Angeles, a very liberal city that has a perception of conservatives as being rather um, racist and... Um, you look like a racist to me. Do I? <laughs> I know I'm the only one here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, so I guess my, my question is, where does this perception come from in a lot of like urban communities or more diverse communities that people who hold conservative values are um, racist? I mean, I think that the, the perception comes from a consistent drumbeat since the 1960s that anybody who opposes bigger government is racist. Here's a government program, and we're designing it for inner city people, people of, of minority ethnicity specifically. I mean, this is sort of how LBJ used to talk, actually. Uh, and, what we're, and, and anybody who opposes that obviously opposes the aspirations of minority people. Or we're in favor of affirmative action that helps black people. Look at these crazy conservatives. They're not in favor of affirmative action. The only reason not to be in favor of affirmative action is because you're a racist. So it's very easy to call people against a group by suggesting that they oppose a policy that benefits a particular group. And that, that's, I think, what the left has done. They've said, here's a particular policy. It benefits this specific group. And now, if you oppose that policy, it's because you hate that group. Well, what if I just oppose, in general, group-specific policies, right? which is what conservatism is? Conservatism says, you don't get special treatment if you're white. You don't get special treatment if you're black. You don't get special treatment if you're anything, because you're an individual human being, and your race shouldn't matter. And the left says, that's racist. And you say, well, boy, wait, why is individualism racist? And the answer is because they don't see people in terms of individuals. So there's this great disconnect. You say individual. And somebody on the left looks at you, and the first thing they think is black person. They don't think a person with a mind. They don't think a person with their own political viewpoint. They look at me, and the first thing they say is Jew, right, really, because this, which is why, I mean, when I, I did a book called Primetime Propaganda about the TV industry, and I was able to get all of these leftists on record about how they keep right-wingers out. Why did I lie? I didn't lie to them. I told them my name was Ben Shapiro. I went to Harvard Law School, and they immediately assumed Jew in L.A. got to be left. Right, because they, they judge me on the basis of group identity. The left breaks people down into group identities, and so it, it, it is anathema to them that you could be an individual with your own perspective on the universe, and you ought to be treated as an individual. And it's very easy to get people sucked into that, because the truth is that all human beings are, to a certain extent, tribal. Everybody is tribal. The less tribal we are, the better we are as human beings. I think that that's sort of the goal of, of religion generally. I mean, unfortunately, religious tribalism happens too, but I think that the goal of, of Judeo-Christian religion has been the universality of values, the goal of Western civilization, certainly the goal of America. The goal of America is that we are a nation based on a creed. There's been a lot of talk lately about nationalism. What does nationalism mean? Nationalism and patriotism, to me, mean what makes America great is the creed upon which we're based, not the color of the skin of the people here or the place they were born. That, that creed is what makes us a better country. It's what makes us worthy of God's favor. The left opposes that creed. The left doesn't believe that we're all individuals and that we all ought to be treated as individuals. And if you treat people as individuals, it, it, it's a blank spot for them. It's why if you say to, to people you're a conservative, they will actually say things like, well, then you're not legitimately black. Right? They will. They do it to Clarence Thomas. They say, well, you're, not, you're a bad black person. Really? Did the, did the skin color come with the Democratic Party card? Like, but but that's, the, that's the way they think because group identity is what trumps all else. And if that's the case, then we're finished as a country. Because the only group identity that ought to matter is your membership in the group of people who are decent and good, who work hard for their families and make the country a better place.